John Leonard. I'm a professor of medicine at Weill Cornell Medical College. I'm a lymphoma and clinical translational researcher. My research is focused on developing new therapies for patients with lymphoma in order to try to cure more patients with lymphoma and to bring less toxic treatments to patients with the disease. Our research has been supported by the V Foundation uh, over the past several years. It's really focused on uh, supporting a project that is developing new therapies for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, which is a subtype of lymphoma that is the most common type of lymphoma that patients can have. Unfortunately, about a third of patients with diffuse large cell lymphoma die of their disease, and so developing new therapies is extremely important. The study we were able to perform with the support of the V Foundation allowed us to develop a combination of therapies that for a subgroup of patients could actually put their lymphomas into remission. So this project is really a bench to bedside project. Uh, Dr. Ari Melnick is my laboratory collaborator, and really what we've done is taken some of his work in the laboratory, develop a new combination of drugs, brought that to patients in the clinic, and then taken tumor tissue from the patients in order to better understand if this combination of drugs was working, how we can make it work better, which subgroups of patients uh, can it work in. Now I'd like to pass the V to my uh, laboratory collaborator, Dr. Ari Melnick. My name is Ari Melnick. I am a professor of medicine and pharmacology at the Weill Cornell Medical College in New York City. What the V funding enabled us to do is to discover a new mechanism that allows lymphomas to resist the effects of chemotherapy. With the funding, we were able to complete a, a phase one clinical trial. In this trial, we proved that this mechanism actually occurs in humans and that we could restore chemotherapy responsiveness to actual patients' tumors. The patients on this trial did very well. We were able to show that the treatment uh, was not toxic and well tolerated. And uh, most of the patients on the trial uh, went into complete remission and remained in, in, in complete remission. So I, I would say that it was one of the highlights of my career was actually meeting some of those individuals and having a chance to see them looking well and healthy. Because of this, our trial is now being translated into a, a multi-center study that will be performed across the United States. So thanks to the V Foundation, I think we've made concrete strides in developing an actual working therapy that would hopefully, um, if proven in larger clinical trials, could actually help, help us to uh, hopefully cure patients who otherwise would not be cured with the current chemotherapy regimens that we give to patients with lymphoma. Now I'm going to pass this on to another colleague. My name is Monica Guzman. I'm an assistant professor of pharmacology in medicine. My laboratory focuses on acute myelogenous leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer. Specifically, we study leukemia stem cells. Leukemia stem cells are the cells that are responsible for initiating and maintaining disease, and they are very resistant to common chemotherapeutic agents. What we have found in my laboratory is that they are specific compounds that can ablate leukemia stem cells that most commonly hide from uh, chemotherapeutic drugs and we are able to eliminate them uh, in vitro and our studies have led to clinical trials that are currently under investigation. I'm very thankful to the V Foundation because their, their support has helped my laboratory efforts on identifying uh, therapies that can specifically target leukemia stem cells. In my lab, we're very inspired by the V Foundation motto, which is don't give up, don't ever give up and I think it's important for cancer patients to know that those of us who are working to fight the disease share that motto, we will keep working and do all we can. <laughs>